Hi, everyone, with Eddie Oldtrack, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. It's as simple as the math. Two games to nothing. And you're coming into this arena, and you're ahead to nothing. Is there pressure? Well, there's pressure because you don't want to give the home team any life. You don't want to give them any belief that they can get back in this series. And I'm a believer. If I'm the road team and I'm up to nothing, is that I can win this series here is if I can find a way to win game three. The Capitals are in the driver's seat, but they know it's going to be a hostile environment here in game three. They know the home crowd is going to be into it. One way to take them out of it, slow the game down. Don't allow the fans or the home team to be energized early in this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. The error margin is slim at playoff time. It cost him last game, but it didn't cost him the start here tonight. He won the last one, so why not another? It's the playoffs. Nothing to save it for. And they are ready for the opening faceoff, and so are we. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Throws it into empty so it can be retrieved. Chip Dorlock. Propelled to Kuznetsov. Save! Let's it go. And a save. Puck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, icing. Play stopped, it's Ray Ferraro time. Toronto's performance in the first two games of the series leaves much to be desired. They have to play their best game, down to nothing. The Capitals with a face-off win. Washington's got it and moving up the wing. He gets it back. He's got that point pass. Off a defender, that's a free puck. Tried, but it didn't work. Has it in his own end. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. The Capitals lose one guy off their roster for this one. It's a game misconduct. Toronto special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Well, the power play guys have to go to work now. This is an opportunity they hope for. You want one early, and you want to see if you can get on the board first. Shoot! Score! A terrific short-handed goal. Shorthanded goals are like a strike of lightning. You just don't expect them. When they come, they can be devastating. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. And he steps across the line. Fires! Got a piece of that one. And he lets it go. Slid to Gardner. The Leafs possess the play in no man's land. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Washington's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Directing that one to Marlowe. Pitching it to Nylander. Muscled long to Gardner. Pass to the slot. Oh, one of the best saves you'll ever see. Moving it to Butcher. Brings it in for an attack. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Marlowe's tripped up. That should be a penalty. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. 
Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Toronto's special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. This 5-3 power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here, and they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Stick to some. Washington's moving the puck up the wing. Offside is called. And so a neutral zone face off. ILV HKY in the new park area. Pretty easy stop. Once he's in the butterfly, he can slide side to side and control the rebound. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Oh, a save there. Looking to Dvorak. The Capitals are driving it from the wing. The power play unit has big chance. Hammers one. That one's deflected. Riley is tripped, and a penalty should be coming. Toronto's in possession as they travel in their own end. Goalie to the bench, extra man over the boards on the delayed penalty. Oh, and it's off the mark. He was hoping for a little bit more with that chance, but his shot is just off the target. The Capitals suffer a tripping call. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. It is a five on three for a brief time, but still a two-man advantage, and the face-off will start it off. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. He was standing in the lane and got some up. Steals it in the attacking zone. The Capitals have it along the side at mid-ice. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Gains the zone. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Steam to Backstrom. Shoots one. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Keeps one. That puck was obstructed by a screen. The Maple Leafs' long power play is over. They scored once. That didn't go like he wanted. Gathered up again by Gardner. Toronto's on the move up the wing. Free puck off a defender. John, that was a great play and goal. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Shot. That shot came from just six inches. Save with the pad. Got to clear it. That's completed up the wing to Kuznetsov. And in flight over the line. They've got it going right now. Can they finish? Great poke check. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Steps across that line. Terrific defensive work. Loose puck. The defense got in the way there. They just keep working away, don't they? First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Capitals leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and logs on our... Oshie's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. Twenty minutes in the books, twenty minutes ahead. And so, what did you think of the first? The Maple Leafs are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. 
Period two has begun. Let's see what happens here. Terrific determination by Muzzin. Snapping a pass to Riley. Passing one off now to Tavares. Offside. Neutral zone faceoff coming in. A faceoff win. Let's see what develops. He banks a pass ahead. That's a pretty sharp play. Maybe he was a little bit of a pool player in his day. He banks this off the boards to his partner much safer than going across the front of the net. Clean win on the draw. Trying to go to Nylander. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Puck loose now picked up. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Just a hair under four minutes off the clock here in the second. It's a one nothing game. Washington's got a defensive zone win. Pass attempt to Domi. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Shot, score! And the game is even! I guess at this point, guys, it doesn't really matter what the game looks like. It's back to even square, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead next. The Maple Leafs have gotten this back into a tie, and there's loads of time left. We're only in the second period. Washington's got possession from the faceoff. Hammers one, gloves. A brilliant save. And he holds on and stops playing. There are lots of players that are successful during the regular season, but you have to kick your game to the next level here in the playoffs. He's been able to do so. Ranks one. Great save. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. Neither team is giving up much in the way of room or scoring chances. Every inch of the... Score! Two straight goals. The next little bit will be crucial. Now that they've got the lead, how do they play with it? The Maple Leafs are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. Just over seven minutes gone. Game was tied. Not anymore. Washington's got it off the draw at center. Four by number 51, Jake Gardner. Assisted by number 12. On to Marlowe. And they've got it again. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. And the play is stopped on an icing call. Maple Leafs get the draw. Laid on to Gardner. And now it's directed to Kapanen. Pitching this one to Gardner. Carries it on in from center. Battle for possession. Advanced by this game. Puck is thrown to Backstrom. A rocket! Not there! Guarantee the goalie never saw it, but I know he heard it. That's how hard it was. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Great opportunity. Better stop. Directing that one to Kapanen. Terrific determination by Hammoning. 
Pitching it to Oshie. Gains that offensive line. Wonderful save. Back in his defensive end to get it. That's a solid play, and he keeps the attack going with this. Walking a thin line near the border there. Toronto's got that one. Now what? Crosses that line. Gathered up by Carlson. Washington's up the wing, setting things up. Fires! Got that! Tremendous scoring chance. Really easy stop for the goaltender. Down in the butterfly, he's able to control that shot. Work on the faceoff. Save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. Anderson's able to make what turns out to be a relatively routine butterfly stop. Zone win. Fires! Not a good shot. I don't care how hard you shoot the puck. You can't miss the net that badly. Skill play by Carlson. A point blast! Wonderful stop. Just a backhand. Great save. Gets it back. Moving into Nylander. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Let's check out the shots on goal through those two periods. 15 for the Capitals and 12 for Toronto. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Toronto's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. Washington's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. And he hammers one. Good block by Carlson. Terrific save. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Tries to get it on net, and a save. That pass was off the mark, so they'll have to try it again, organizing at center. Can he beat him here? A wonderful shot answered quickly. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. The Leafs win the draw. Drives it. Oh, what a save that was. Looking to Dvorak. And he gains the zone. Rister from the slot. Made that stop. The Leafs with a clean win on the draw. Snapping a pass to Nylander. Can start the attack going in the zone. Loose puck due to the play by Marlowe. Washington's done a wonderful job of killing off penalties, and there's just another example. Shoots one. Oh, and he missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Passing one off now to Zaitsev.
Trying to go to Marlowe. Up to the point. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Save there. Washington setting up an offense from the wing. Let's it go. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. The coach is tough. Wow, look at him. He's got a long way to go. Does he have enough gas? Breaks away. Stole that pass. Good save there. Backstrom's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Snags the puck. Toronto's forced another turnover in this very close game. Dogged determination there by Marlowe. Pitch to Riley. Sends it back the other way. Skates out with it. Dominance right now. Fires in front. Picked up by the defense. Pass attempt to Oshie. He's got it. Toronto's moving the puck up the wing. Chip to Ennis. Missed the net. Oh, that shot had a lot of steam on it. That just missed wider than that. Propelled the Juris. Now it's directed to Ennis. Driving in from no man's land. Just above the crossbar. Pitching this one to Kucherov. Good place to shoot from. Just wide with the shot. Oh, how can they miss that pass? And there's a delayed penalty call. Washington's given a minor here for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Leafs go on the power play yet again. Let's see how they perform. This power play can't worry about the shorthanded goal they gave up earlier. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized at the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Got it on his stick in the slot. He helps his team make progress with that bounce pass. That's somebody that's been around. He took a quick look up the middle of the ice, nothing there, so he banks it off the boards to his partner, and out of the zone they go. What a ripper from the point! The Leafs shifting gears back in their own end. He is able to move on in. Skill play by John Tavares. Shoots! Great save, point blank. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Blocked. The Capitals guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Toronto's power play unit gets a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but might be enough. You're right, Doc, this is a big advantage here. Five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. And he steps across the line. Toronto's in their own end setting things up. Can he make them chase it? That was the wall that stopped. Point blank save. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. A minute left. What chaos will happen now? Puck is thrown to Carlson. Smart recovery by Kadri. The Maple Leafs skated up on the side. Puts one on. Say. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. A shot. Handled with the stick. Puck's loose. Denied by the roadblock. Directing that one to Oshie. Onside. Shoot! Oh, he got that! The Capitals have to take a chance here. They pull their goalie. The team would like to thank you for your continued support. This next face-off is the largest one this game has seen. A big win. Let's see what happens. Slid to Gardner. On to Nylander. 
empty. He scores! <laughs> got the goal and this game is over. Everybody can exhale a little bit now once the empty netter goes in. That pretty well wraps it up. The Capitals controlling center ice. Washington's yanking their goalie. Nothing to wait for here. Pitching it to Zaitsev. Up the left side to Nylander. Net open. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Score! That one should put the icing on the cake. That's going to be too much for them to come back from that empty net or seal the deal. the tournament moves closer to its conclusion, we hope you'll anticipate the next games as much as we do. This one was fine for us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, and good night for all of us.